Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and if you are an RPG Maker developer or you are interested in RPG Maker, probably the biggest announcement in RPG Maker's history just occurred, and that is that RPG Maker is finally available for Unity. It's called RPG Maker Unite, and what they've done is they've ported the core of RPG Maker, and I'll, I'll run the uh, video here in the background as I talk, but they ported the core of RPG Maker into the Unity game engine. Now, RPG Maker has been around for a very long time. It first was released in 1992, uh, and it is for creators a very specific art style, JRPG style game. So you get like, you know, side scroll or top down. Uh, you've got optional battler type screens. You've definitely seen RPG Maker style games. Now the move to Unity actually has quite a few uh, advantages to it. Now, first off, the biggest one you're going to get, and this is huge if you're from the RPG Maker community, is you're now going to get mobile support because they're piggybacking on the development functionality of the Unity game engine. And obviously you get access to the Unity tools as well. And one of the cool things there is you get the scripting language that Unity ultimately uses, and that is the C-sharp programming language. So in the past, RPG Maker used, I think it started as Ruby and eventually switched to JavaScript, where there might have been a little splash of Lua somewhere in the middle there. I haven't followed the RPG Maker series all the way through. Uh, but now you can actually use C-sharp as part of it. So you can see here from these images that are available, this is the Unity game engine. So this is an extension of Unity. It's using Unity tooling and functionality. But on top of that, it's all of the traditional RPG Maker screens and capabilities in there. So for example, you've got uh, the battler setup. You've got the database stuff in there. You've got dialogue stuff there. You've got the map placement stuff there. But the map's also got some improvements here in that you can now put large objects into your world instead of just working with tile maps. So it should make creating worlds a much more pleasant experience using... Uh, the RPG Maker Unite version. Now, this is available on uh, the Unity Asset Store. By the way, the link down below has an affiliate link in it, so I get a small commission if you use it. Uh, it's going to also be available on uh, Steam, and I don't know how that's going to work because this only really works as a Unity plugin. So I'm not sure how that Steam release will ever happen. Uh, as you can see here, uh, it's $89 at this point in time, so it's $10 off for the next 13 days. Um, and there's a couple of other things that are in here. So again, we got large object supports in this particular release. Uh, you still have have your traditional battler set up. Another new, new feature of this guy is this new outline feature. So you can see that the way that your game all strings together narratively. Um, so it's kind of like an RPG making kit set of tooling inside of the Unity game engine. Uh, so if you are traditionally into RPG Maker, what you probably found is there were definitely some limitations of what it was capable of. For one, again, you couldn't publish to mobile. So now you have that capability. Also, you should be able to get access to the entire Unity ecosystem. So you should be able to bring in uh, plugins and effects and things like that that would work from other environments, uh, other systems that have already been built for Unity. You can build on top of those. One of those things that you probably want to be interested in, though, is this one is for the built-in pipeline only. I'm a little shocked that they didn't support the ERP because the universal render pipeline is probably the future of the Unity game engine. Although you do get maximum compatibility from the built-in pipeline. So I understand why they made that decision. Just know if you're going to use uh, an extension or an asset that requires the ERP, uh, it's not going to work. And obviously the HDRP isn't going to work either. It also requires 2021.3 or later, which is a pretty, you know, reasonable cutoff time for uh, support of Unity versions here. Um, so you create RPGs without coding, beautiful resources to make compelling games. This is one of those big things about RPG Maker. First off, there is a ton of assets out there, uh, and there are tools for bringing them into Unity. We'll get back to that one in just a minute. I do believe they're included, but I'm not sure on 100%. I'm hoping to get a product key for this guy so I can do a more in-depth review at some point in the future. Today is just kind of a news about the announcement that it's available in general. Um, but there are a ton of DLC content packs out there for RPG Maker. Like, and I'm talking probably thousands at this point in time. So if you want to extend the art style and you're not a skilled artist, you can get a ton of DLC packs out there. And it actually ships with a number of assets to get you up and going as well. So in terms of technical details here, again, it is a tool for creating RPG games without coding. So you do not have to write a single line of code. You use the database system and the triggers and such in the game world uh, to make your game logic go. But as we'll see in a few minutes, you can also extend it with C Sharp. Big, big change on this one, and this is kind of nuts, but this is the first one to natively support full HD resolutions, which would be 1080p. 
Yeah, that has never been supported by RPG Maker in the past. Um, so with full HD support, map details such as color gradation of stein glasses are now much more pronounced than before. Battle graphics now also have detailed expressions more noticeable to players. There is that new outline layer. We looked at that earlier on up here. Uh, so that one was available right over here. So this gives you the ability to string together, so you can see here, uh, add chapter, add section, switch line, storyline, and so on. So you get the narrative flow of your game constructed using this visual tool. Uh, and its cousin switch lines are assistive tools that provide a top-down visualization of the connections between major story locations and events for better project management. Uh, now you have large part placement, definitely going to be a nice feature there. So in addition to traditional tile sets, users can now option to place large parts like houses, trees, and castles directly and quickly onto maps. Should make map editing a faster process for sure. Um, new feature auto guide to complete suggested stats for easier balance tuning. Uh, so by entering basic parameters such as maximum level, expected uh, clear live, I had no idea what's going on there, uh, max experience, max HP, the system can auto-calculate suggested stats for enemies, uh, so it basically does the balancing for you. Uh, greatly enhanced character animation now with variable frames. Again, the jump uh, to the higher resolution, you're, you're getting that functionality in as well. And I got to say, the frames, frame rates of animations before used to be a little <laughs> with RPG Maker, uh, that shouldn't be an issue anymore. So there's uh, no longer has a minimum or maximum number of allowed frames per character animation. So you can have much more fluid animations in your games. Uh, one of the other big deals here, again, because it's built on top of Unity, is you now have smartphone support, which I think is a, a big deal for the RPG Maker community. Uh, again, a bunch of default assets that are built in, so audio characters, enemies, biomes, and so on, to help you start just creating your games right away. I think that's actually probably one of the biggest selling points of RPG Maker. Again, if you just want to get in and start making games, you, you can. It, again, in a very specific genre, but you can. Uh, and then the, the database tools are all built in as well. And then probably one of the more interesting things to the more um, experienced developers amongst us is you now have uh, highly customizable through C Sharp. So it features two ways for users to modify and expand its functionalities. One is through add-on, uh, which are scripts that do not modify the engine source code and can be turned on and off uh, using the built-in add-on manager. I think that would be your traditional JavaScript approach there. The other is to modify the source code directly using the Unity editor. Users can choose which level they want depending on purpose and programming knowledge level. So you're going to have a lot more fine-tuned control uh, and again, C-sharp language support in there. One thing to be interested in as well, just while you're on the Unity Asset Store, there is a publisher sale right now. Uh, so you can get um, Studio Lab assets uh, until May the 11th here, including this freebie. So just while you're on the Unity Asset Store, look out for this little tag at the top here uh, and you can get this asset, this modular medieval dungeon completely free. I'll throw that link down below as well. It's kind of an aside while we're there. So as I mentioned earlier on, it's ultimately going to be released on Steam as well. I, I don't know what form it will take. I, I actually wouldn't be surprised if this never actually happens, to be honest, because quite frankly, it's only useful inside of Unity. So I, I don't know what you would get on the... Um, on here unless they can somehow get a licensing deal with Unity so they can do a pre-bundled version of Unity to deploy and I can't see that happening so eventually you're going to be able to buy it uh, on Steam as well in theory again I, I just can't foresee how that would actually work but if you've got an idea how they're going to implement it I would love to hear it um, and then again you can find out more about RPG Maker at RPGMakerUnite.com so there is you know, a variety of functions here available. Let's get this out of the way. Now, the one thing that I do find interesting here is they do have this extended functions part here, and it shows that it comes with these two tools. And these are actually sold separately right now on Steam. This one's like 13 bucks. I forget what this one is. Uh, this is a tool for scaling up your art. So if you've got existing assets, you want to bring them into uh, Unite, it will take care of it for you. And this one is a 3D character converter for turning uh, VRM models, uh, which is a an avatar format. Um, there's a tool out there called Vroid Studio. If you want to learn a little bit about VRM, Vroid Studio is probably one of the coolest. I've done a couple of videos about Vroid in the past, but you can take those 3D characters and turn them into sprite sheets for RPG Maker using this tool. Now, these are supposed to both be included inside of RPG Maker Unite. Now, don't quote me on that because I do not have a license key yet, but those two features are supposed to be in here as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. RPG Maker uh, Unite is here. Uh, again, it is available uh, for $89.99 on Steam, currently $10 off. 
Uh, it's RPG Maker. It's just hosted inside of the Unity game engine and taking advantage of Unity features. So you get stuff like high definition support, uh, build for mobile, C-sharp support, and more. Let me know what you think of this particular release, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.